Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the circumference and area of a circle. Uh, remember that the circumference is another name for the perimeter. It's how much to travel around the outside of the circle, where area is how much would it take to actually fill in the inside of the circle. Okay, so circumference we would use if we were fencing, area we would use if we were like painting and trying to figure out how much to cover. All right. So for circumference, there are two formulas. You can either use circumference equals two times pi times the radius, um, or you can use the formula circumference equals pi times the diameter. And the reason there are two of them is just remember that the diameter is equal to twice the radius, or the radius is half of the diameter. So if you're given the diameter, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to take half of it and then turn around and multiply it by two. It's just easier to use the second formula. Okay, for area, area is pi r squared, where r is the radius, so you do have to find the radius if you're given the diameter in order to find the area. Okay, a couple things to remember is that pi is approximately 3.14, so if it asks you for an approximate answer, you can either use 3.14 or you can use the pi button in your calculator. Just know that if you use the pi in your calculator, you are going to possibly get a different answer than you would if you use 3.14. Okay, so make sure you read your directions carefully because sometimes in directions when you are doing problems like this, it will say use 3.14 for pi. And sometimes they will take either answer, either using the pi button or the 3.14. So just be careful about that. All right, so let's get started. So for the circumference on this one, since we are given D or our diameter, I'm gonna use this formula right here. The circumference equals pi times D. And if I plug this in, I really just get, uh, and I'm gonna write the number first, 10 pi. Um, I could do D times pi here. That's basically what I'm writing. And this would be the exact answer. So anytime it asks you for an exact answer, it's telling you to leave it in terms of pi. If they do want an approximate answer, you can either do two, 10 times 3.14, um, which gives you 31.4. Or you can plug into your calculator 10 times pi, so I can hit the pi button on my calculator. So for this one, I'm just going to use desmos.com to show you how um, to do this. So I would just do 10 times and I would hit the pi button. And notice it gives me more decimal places. So if it wants you to round to the nearest hundredth, you would have to use the pi button. And we can see that it's 31.42 approximately. Okay, so that is our um, circumference. Like I said, just read your directions carefully. Every text is different. Sometimes they want exact answers and sometimes they want approximate answers. All right, for the area, remember that area is pi r squared. So we do have to use the radius. So the radius is going to be half of 10, which is five. So we would plug that in and we would have pi times five squared. So my exact answer would be 25 pi feet squared. Okay, so again, if they want an exact answer, then you would just leave it like this. Okay, um, like I said, if you were trying to do this in your calculator, you can either do 25 times the pi button, or you can do 25 times 3.14. And notice that the pi button does give you more decimal places. So if they want you to have more than one decimal place, um, then make sure you use your pi button. Again, just read your directions. Um, but we can say that the approximate area on this is 78.5 square feet. Okay. All right, moving into the second example, this time we are given the radius. So this is our radius. So to find the circumference, we're gonna do two times pi times r. So if I plug that in, it would be two times pi times three, and that would just give me six pi inches. Again, this is my exact answer. And again, you can either plug into your calculator six times pi or six times 3.14. Um, I, 
normally. See, I just grabbed a different calculator. So if you have a TI-84, you would just do six times second pi. It doesn't matter what calculator you use. Pi is always in there. Um, so for this, it would be 18.85 if you use the pi button, where if I do six times 3.14, I would get 18.84. So notice that to two decimal places, it does round slightly differently. So just make sure that you read your directions of your text again. Okay, so this is approximately 18.84 inches squared or 18.85 inches squared, depending upon whether you use pi or the 3.14. For the area, we would just do pi r squared. So I would plug in pi times three squared, um, which would give me nine pi. And again, because it's area, remember that our units are squared, so this would be our exact answer. And if I plug it into my calculator, it ends up being approximately 28.27 inches squared if I use the pi button. Or if I use the 3.14, I would get approximately 28.26 inches squared. So again, read your text carefully. Um, if you are using online homework platforms, a lot of times they will take both answers. They'll take both the pi answer, unless it tells you in the directions to use 3.14. So just be aware of that. That is an issue that you can run into. If you are getting it wrong and you're using 3.14, try using the pi button and see if then you get it correct. Um, I know how tricky online homework platforms can be. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.